This is Earth and Sky. In his lab at Cornell University in New York, Paul McEwen, professor of physics, is checking out the properties of nanotubes. Nano means billionth. A nanometer is a billionth of a meter. A nanotube is a single sheet of carbon atoms rolled into a cylinder. The longest nanotube so far measures about a centimeter, about half an inch. But nanotubes are skinny, just a few atoms in diameter. A one centimeter nanotube is 10 million times longer than it is wide. Very thin, but they're also very stiff. So maybe think of a steel guitar string. A guitar string has some rigidity, but it's pretty flexible. It's not flexible because it's weak. It's flexible because it's really long and skinny so that it bends. Nanotubes are stronger than steel and have electrical properties that rival the best semiconductors. We just want to play with them and do curiosity-driven science. What are these little things like and what kind of little widgets can we make with them? And I think this is a very important thing for people to understand as well, is that there's a discovery and sort of a fundamental playing around phase in which you really don't want to hamper your instincts, your creativity, your desire to just sort of wander around in the scientific landscape. And then later comes a period where you start to try to say, okay, well, let's really think about what this is good for. Come to EarthSky.org with your questions and comments about nanotechnology. With thanks to the National Science Foundation, we're Block and Bird for Earth and Sky.